Currently, HiFi Finance is trading at 1.61 cents, which could soon peak at $3.40 based on HiFi Finance's price fluctuations. We have predicted that the price of HiFi would decrease by minus 11.23% at the beginning of October 2023. During the middle of October, the price is expected to increase by a maximum of 113.31%. By the end of the month, HiFi is likely to grow by an average of 63.35%. HiFi token price has soared in recent days, becoming one of the best performing cryptocurrencies this week, according to TradingView. The token has risen for six consecutive days and is now hovering near its all time high. The lesser known cryptocurrency has increased by more than 490% from its yearly low. HiFi Finance is an obstruction the network aims to lead the rapidly expanding tokenization industry, which analysts estimate is worth trillions of dollars. It also enables individuals to borrow against tokenized assets such as real estate crypto and NFTs. HiFi Finance has inked a number of partnerships in the past few months, including a partnership with Crown Ribbon to take on the performance horse industry. Additionally, the developers have partnered with Pooled NFT, an easy way to turn any NFT into passive income. It is unclear why the HiFi crypto price is rising, but it is clear that the surge has triggered the largest short liquidations on record, rising by $476,000 on Wednesday. Short liquidations happen when exchanges are forced to close short trades. When a price rises in most periods, these liquidations are usually seen as a bullish thing. The HiFi price has increased significantly since June 10th. Initially, the price consolidated above 30 cents afterward. It accelerated its rate of increase on August 17th and has increased. Alongside a parabolic ascending support line, since on September 15th, the price reached a new all-time high. Price of $1.27, but fell slightly afterward, the high was made at the 2.61 FIB extension of the original increase black, this is an area that often provides resistance, during upward movements the HiFi price could fall to the 75 cent support area, if a rejection occurs, this coincides with the parabolic ascending support line. And as the 1.61 extension of that original increase it would amount to a drop of 35% measuring from the current price on the other hand if the price breaks out back to normal and Square will take any money that comes in if it becomes popular and well known around the world Square will take it da. In 2023, since Dorsey's initial backing, the price of Bitcoin has skyrocketed from $25,000 to $75,000, a phenomenal 220% increase. Bitcoin is no longer a small portion of the financial world, it is now a global phenomenon that is widely used and recognized. This speech was not the end of Dorsey's journey with Bitcoin. In fact, it was only the beginning. In 2018, Square, a company he co-founded that provides financial services, added Bitcoin trading to its cash app so users could purchase, sell, and hold Bitcoin. He has invested in Bitcoin infrastructure and worked on projects to make Bitcoin simpler to use and more accessible as Bitcoin continues to change and shape the future of finance and technology. Jack Dorsey's early support and ongoing commitment to the cryptocurrency demonstrate how revolutionary Bitcoin is and how it has the potential to alter the way conventional financial systems operate. Inflation accelerated in August with headline price increases of 0.6% from July to August and 3.7% from August 2017 to August 2018. On Wednesday, the market traded in a holding pattern after the latest Consumer Price Index CPI reports showed that inflation accelerated in August, with headline price increases of 0.6% from July to August and 3.7% from August 2017 to August 2018. This was primarily due to rising energy prices, and investors were anticipating next week's Fed meeting, where the central bank will determine if additional interest rate hikes are necessary. This created a bit of a mess on the stock market. Next week, according to the CME FedWatch tool, the Fed will cease raising interest rates. 97% of the time, which is an increase from 90% the previous day. At the end of the day, the S&P and Nasdaq were up 0.12% and 0.2%, respectively, while the Dow was down 0.2%.
Trading Outlook Bitcoin's BTC price rose initially after the CPI report, reaching a high of $26,000 for $116 in the afternoon before falling back to support above $26,000, which has been a consistent level of resistance since the middle of August-September. Bitcoin futures prices were up again in early U.S. trading on Wednesday, according to Jim Wickoff, a senior technical analyst at Kitco. Prices hit a six-month low on Monday but have been rising since. Wickoff said the bulls have stabilized prices, but they have a lot of work to do in the near future to prove that prices can start to rise. The bears still have the overall technical edge in the short term because the price downtrend line is still in place. MN Exchange Passages Wednesday's trade letter based on the CPI stated that when interest rates are raised swiftly, the economy will suffer. The general market performance of hazardous assets tends to be inferior. Don Fopen, an analyst at MN Trading, stated that for a long time it appeared that we were stuck in a downward spiral. However, recent CPI reports indicate that inflation has been slowing which gives the Fed fewer reasons to continue aggressively raising interest rates, thereby allowing risky assets to increase in value once more. Falcon examined Bitcoin's price behavior and remarked that on high timeframe charts, the weekly wicks appear quite uncertain and the chart as a whole appears somewhat unstable. Falcon stated that technically we are still in an uptrend, which is something to consider, but I do not find the overall structure of the weekly time frame to be very reassuring. There was a large move up, followed by a strong move down, a retracement back to the weekly moving average, and then another strong decline. Similar lows on the decline increase the likelihood that the price will move in that direction. When we look at the daily time frame, we can see that the price has similar lows on both sides. According to FOPPIN, these levels are used to create liquidity. What we can see, and what is very likely to be true, is that these equal lows have formed above an imbalance on the daily period. Now the price has two reasons to go down, first, to remove liquidity below the equal lows, and second, to fill the imbalance on the daily period. One of the most important aspects of trading, according to Thoppen, is to keep your capital secure. It's essential not to do anything crazy right now particularly given the current state of the MA5, 000. Bitcoin is no longer a small part of the financial world, it is now a worldwide movement that is used and known by many people. This speech was not the end of Dorsey's journey with Bitcoin. In reality, it was just the start. In 2018, Square, a company he helped start that provides financial services, added Bitcoin trading to its cash app so that users could buy, sell, and keep Bitcoin. Block has become a big player in the crypto space thanks to his leadership. He has invested in Bitcoin infrastructure 